Assembly Joint Agriculture and Trade Committee wants the Directorate of Criminal Investigations and the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to investigate three cabinet secretaries for allegedly allowing importation of excess sugar into the country and evasion of taxes. The committee wants cabinet secretaries Henry Rotich, Eden Mohammed, and former Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Willie Bett investigated to establish circumstances under which they recommended waiver of duty worth 12.5 billion for 14 companies. The parliamentary committee table is final report of the inquiry into the importation of illegal and contaminated sugar into the country. The House Business Committee will now set the date when members will debate the report either Thursday afternoon and or Tuesday next week. The committee wants the Director of Criminal Investigations, DCI, and the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, ESCC, to investigate Cabinet Secretary for National Treasury Henry Rotich and expose circumstances under which he issued three Gazette notices in 2017 that led to the importation of excess sugar into the country and evasion of taxes. A total of 829,800 metric tons of brown sugar was imported between May and December 2017. The committee also wants DCI and ESCC to investigate former Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture Willie Bett, now Kenyan Ambassador to India, to establish circumstances under which he recommended waiver of duty for 14 companies which imported sugar, hence evaded paying taxes worth 10 billion shillings. The committee says the Kenya Revenue Authority should recover duty payable on all sugar imported between 1st September 2017 and 3rd October 2017. The report says then Cabinet Secretary for Trade, Adam Mohammed, and the host docket Kenya Bureau of Standards Falls should be investigated to establish the circumstances under which CABS failed to undertake adequate market surveillance to guarantee the safety and quality of sugar in the country. The government chemist said 60% of the samples tested and analyzed was unfit for human consumption. According to the report, efforts by the Joint Committee to validate the findings of the government chemist or the presence of mercury in the seized consignment of sugar by independent agencies, namely the University of Nairobi and the Kenya Plant and Health Inspectorate, KEFIS, were unsuccessful after they were denied entry to the two sites by the multi-agency team. The government came and said two samples seized at Moy Air Base Lee and Webuya West in Bungoma County had traces of mercury. The Joint Committee wants further in-depth investigations done to reveal why the two institutions were denied access by the multi-agency task force and circumstances leading to the contamination of sugar with the mercury. The committee says investigative agencies should investigate irregular transactions between Sony Sugar Company Limited and the six private companies that use the public miller's license to import 50,500 metric tons of sugar leading to tax evasion of approximately 2.5 billion shillings. Under the phony deal, Sugar Barons paid Sony Sugar Company a paltry 86.7 million shillings in commission. Patrick Camimo, KTA News. Now, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. This saying appears to have come true for 13-year-old Faith Jeb Chirchir from El Gayo Maraquet. The social media in Kenya has been awash with the picture of the girl taken by a motorist as she was being given a ride on a, motos on a bicycle around Kamotoin Forest. Our reporter Elvis Kosge went out to find this girl. And here is that story. <laughs> You may have seen a video trending in the social media. Faith Jepchirichir, a class 4 pupil at Cheles Primary School in Elgeo Maraquet County, is the girl in that video. A visit to her home reveals a miserable life Faith lives with her aging grandmother. A radiant smile hides the tribulations she has undergone since being born 13 years ago. A grandmother known as Kobilo has been raising Jepchirichir and her two siblings after their mother abandoned them and took off. Shule, nilikuanga ta, nilikuanga nimetuma pesa mtiani, ayikuwa pesa, tuwa mtu endu kuni, jotelebe pesa mtiani. Makuka kwa na pesa. On that day, Jepchirichi had blisters on her feet occasioned by sheer hard work. She was offered a lift by a boda boda rider with the only space being to lie on top of the bundle of firewood that was being ferried. And that was how she was captured by a motorist using that route. I died the original one on Facebook. 
Facebook. On a good day, the girl and her grandmother get about 100 shillings from the sale of firewood. Because of the fact background ila natoka, naona kwamba masoma yake inekua affected kiasi. Sometimes anakua traumatized. Na most of the time, she's out of school. Ningaomba tu, kama mtu yota na ukusu wa kusu faith, hakipata boarding school, faith can do well. Now one day, one time, at a route because idea we engine. Even though the girl on the risky ride lit up the social media, Jeb Chichir is still basking in solitude. She's one among the many people who were evicted from Embobut Forest. Elvis Kosgei, KT News, Kapsoar area, Elgiomara County. She is just 13 years old with her entire life ahead of her, full of dreams. And when you just listen to her, your heart breaks. If there's someone out there, honestly, this girl deserves to get some help. If there's someone out there who can help, who can have something little to spare, to see her through school, that would be amazing. And I'm hoping that in the next couple of days, maybe we can do a story of help going her way. That would make a whole lot of difference, not just in her life, but the life of her grandmother. All right, so let's bring you back to Nairobi now. And Nairobi County Health CC and the County Health Director have been suspended, not fired, over the lack of uh, medicine in public hospitals. Nairobi County Governor Mike Mbubi Sonko says County Health Director Thomas Ogaro and Health Executive Member Majev Dian Hitan will also be held responsible for the lack of medicine in public health facilities in the city. Nairobi Governor Mike Mbuvesonko suspended his Chief of Staff Brian Mugo, Acting Finance Chief Officer Ekhaya Alumasi and Acting Head of Treasury Stephen Mutuo over misuse of public funds. Why, 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 they should buy, why patients are buying Duke? Why? The Nairobi County boss has once again cracked the whip on two county health officials. Governor Sonko has suspended County Health Director Thomas Ogaro and Health Executive Member Majid Vian Hitan for poor state of health facilities across the county. The governor says the two will also be held responsible for the lack of medicine in public health facilities and for failing to conduct inspection of health facilities. <laughs> An angry Sonko said he will not be taking the flag from Nairobi residents anymore due to other people's weaknesses. He was speaking after visiting a health facility in Kangemi. Last week, nilifunga macho, licha ya pending bills committee kukaa kuchunguza hii madai, kemsa wakaduletia blackmail wakakata kupeana madawa, niliwapea 52 million. Na mimi nakumbuka kabla kuwapatia kemsa 52 million, niliita chairmanu wawo kwa ofisi, wawo kasema watuwapea 30 million, wandele kupatia wananchi madawa, na kila wakipea madawa tuwa tunawalimba mimi ni kakubali. Reports indicate that counties owe the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority about 2.8 billion shillings for drugs and other medical supplies. Nairobi County alone owes the agency over 200 million shillings. While suspending the officers, Sonko called on the Directorate of Criminal Investigations to launch investigations into the issue. Brenda Zeda Radido, KTN News. Yeah, that has been an issue of concern to Kenyans and Nairobians specifically, lack of uh, medicine in public health facilities. Nairobi governor now suspending individuals or officials in his office.